is a very exciting day, you can see. I've got a new Ag Leader hat on, even though it might be a bit dirty. It was new uh, this morning. But today is an exciting day because we've got the windrower front on. We filled up with chemical and we're about to start windrowing the canola. And I'm real excited. All right, guys, we're, we are windrowing along. Um, we started on that paddock behind those trees and then the owner, the fellas came up and had a look at this paddock which is just next door and they decided that this one was a bit riper. So because I got the nitro, I can just lift up really high and go over the top of the gate post. So I came in here and we're, we're going to do this one and then we'll go back to that one over there to finish it off later on, I think. Um, yeah, anyway, seems to be going all right. Um, outside it's hot and windy, but in here it's really nice actually. And uh, the, the lambs that Chris and Brock came and assessed for Auctions Plus the other day, they're going up at the moment. Um, they're not quite at the reserve, um, but hopefully they make it there in a bit more. So today is the 2nd of November. Um, our season normally starts the 1st or the 2nd of November, around there somewhere. Um, it's Melbourne Cup Day today, um, and it is 40 minutes until the race that stops the nation starts. Well, I'm not going to stop for it, but I will listen to it or watch it. Not because I'm betting, just because I'm interested to see who wins. Alright, so, day one, about 40 hectares in and we have already had a problem. This is the knife head that goes from the knife drive to the knife bar. And as you can see, it's broken off. Not ideal. Um, hopefully they've got one in Bordertown and Chelsea will grab it if they do. We'll meet her halfway. But anyway, while they're checking, I'll um, start taking the old one off. Here we go, Chelsea dropped me off the parts. New knife head, new knife head bearing. Perfect. All right, we're going again and um, so far, so good. Seems to be working. I haven't come very far, but it seems to be going all right, which is nice. We got the lights on. Into the darkness we go. Good road coming out the back. She's going well. All right, that's enough for tonight. We're gonna call it quits. 80 hectares for today, which is not too bad. Considering we had a breakdown, um, there's a storm rolling through very soon, so we'll get out of here before that comes. Um, yeah, we'll reassess tomorrow and see what ends up happening. Right, guys, so we're back at it another day for another day. Um, been going for a little while. We just had a shower of rain come through. We've got no pressure on at the moment. The crops are not turning fast enough. They're not ripening up fast enough. So we haven't got anything to go on with. So I'm just parked up while there's a little bit of rain falling. Just let it pass and then get going in a minute. But I thought I'd just come out here and show you um, what we're actually doing. So you can see here, this is on my headlands. All the canola has been cut off, cut off here. And then it moves along the belts and drops into one row there. Now this side is the rest of the paddock. I haven't done it yet. You can see how tall it is. And you see when we grab it, it all moves around a fair bit. But then over here in this row, it doesn't really move very much. So this stuff here is quite susceptible to wind damage. So the pods are still green and ropey at the moment, but as they dry out, 
they become quite brittle and they tend to split open like this so if you have a heap of heap of wind and all the pods shake around and they hit each, into each other they split open your seeds fall on the ground and then you can't harvest your canola once it's on the ground it's um it's done um yeah but anyway oh here's a bit of a ripe one so um there see how easy that just split open now i'll pull this pot apart oh there we go see all those little black seeds they're canola seeds now that that particular pod i'll see if another one will split here you go see how easy that split if that was if the whole paddock was like it all of the canola could just fall onto the ground and because of our hot dry windy climate usually um yeah it's it happens pretty often so we do this to minimize the losses but anyway how you know that it's ready to winrow we pick a pod like this oh. so we pick a pod and we'll split it open and you can see well that one's i thought it was ripe but it's not so there's some brown seeds in there and some green seeds so we pick a pod and then we split it open now you see some of them are brown some of them are green that means that they're coming ripe they're almost ripe but it's still green wind rowing it now won't affect any yield or anything it will just become ripe while it's sitting in the row so if you do it too green that will affect oil quality in the canola or oil percentage um, so it's all about timing and uh, quite often canola all comes ready at one time and it's just a mad rush to get as much done as you can in usually about a 14 day window so it's a busy time but um yeah not so busy this year at the moment all right so we got that paddock all finished off and just as quickly as we've got started we're stopped again um this rainy weather we've had a bit of humid weather and for whatever reason the crops just don't seem to be ripening off so we're going to pull up for a while for a few days um, and just monitor it all um, to see if it will turn if it if it um, when it comes right but at the moment it is um, still too green so we're we're going to stop for a while yeah we'll start again when the crop conditions are right all right so the canola is still too green um, so rather than having the day off we've come out to Onan um, we're planning to do some work on the shearing shed to continue getting that ready on the shearing shed renovation um, we've just gone past some of a sheep and there were some rams in there that I saw which is good means they're still in there doing their job um, but we're not working on the shearing shed right now. We're heading down the back, past the paddock of Lucen that we just sowed out here, which is coming up by the way, which is good news. Um, but we're going to another paddock back here because James Howe from Howie's Earthworks is doing some clay spreading. So we're just going to see how he's getting on. <laughs> He's making some good progress. She's going to be a nice hole, that's for sure. If you don't really understand what's going on there, I suggest you go back to um, 
this video, which I'll put somewhere on here, um, of clay spreading. And um, you'll be able to figure out what it's all about. All right, so this, we've just come for a look at the loosen that we sewed just a few videos back. And it's looking fantastic. Like, that's got plenty of size on it. Definitely makes a difference sewing it um, when the soil temperature is a bit warmer because it really, really gets up and starts growing well. All right, so we have been making some progress today. We've got all the K-Rail on in the Let Go races. So it's starting to all come together, which is also the fences of the catching pens. Um, I just put the K-Rail on that middle fence. I'm about to do this one. Dad's cutting some panels to go in the gates, like this one. And um, yeah, it's all happening. a bit of a discussion on what we want to get done today the Sabo um, we want to get this first stand ready or good enough to shear a sheep in because we've got some woolly ones out here that need doing so dad's working on that gate at the moment he's going to put this gate in one of those gates should fit here um, or there wherever and he's going to put his let go pen there. I am currently about to start on the catching pen doors. So these are the doors from the old shearing shed. You can see I've got a line on there. I've got to cut it off and then put them back on. Here we go. Two swinging doors. Fair enough. All right, so it's definitely starting to look like a shearing shed now. We've got the backboard on in this section. The doors are on. This catching pen gate is on, it's swinging. Just needs a chain. This secondary pen gate is on, swinging, and it needs a chain too. Dad's just brought in the let go race door, let go pen door, <laughs> gate. Uh, it looks alright. All coming along. We could actually shear a sheep here now, if we wanted to. Dada, say goodbye dad. Happy wind rowing. Give dad a hug. Say goodnight. Say goodnight dada. <laughs> what up farm, how you going? If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's great to have you, I'm Mark. I'm a third generation farmer. I'm farming alongside my dad in Western Victoria. Um, and yeah, we're out here doing some wind rowing. All right, so we're back into the wind rowing. Um, yeah, it's been a weird start to the season. We did 100 hectares and then nothing's ripening up quick enough. So we stopped, did some work on the shearing shed and now we're into dad's canola 
So this is some of our own family's canola, which is exciting because I've never windrowed our own canola. I've always windrowed other people's. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, nearly got a block. Oh, sorta. Back a bit. There we go. Anyway, it's going pretty good. We got 30 hectares to do here. Um, I'm gonna try and do that tonight because there's some weather moving in tomorrow. A bit of a rain front. And we'll see what happens. So we're still hunting along out here, still getting a bit done. Just mind the don't mind the um, canola on the reel. I don't know why it does that. It's probably operator error. If you know why it does that, let me know in the comments. I think it's just when I put the reel into the crop too much. But anyway, it just rumbles around on there. Then it dries up and falls off. But yeah, we're still going. Oh, Agway is still steering us along, steering us in a straight line. and. Putting the spray out at the right rate. It's going good. I'm really glad to be back Winron. I love Winron. It's fun. It's really good. I really like it. Right, we're on our second last pass. We've just got that little half pass there to do. Then we'll be all finished off. Time to go home for bed.